it's double double hoover trouble today with this the hoover double duty let's see if it's doubly good or doubly terrible Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Do you like what I found for Tenor on Spock the other day? So Hoover Double Duty Handheld Wet and Dry Vacuum Cleaner Model S1103 from, in theory, May 1993 If, oh I can't shake my hands if the serial number on this Chinese badged machine is the same as on the usual machines. And it's basically just a little dust buster. Which seems to work okay. I'm not quite sure what the charging situation is on it. I haven't actually charged it up since I got it. So we shall see. A little on off switch that doesn't hold down so it hurts your thumb just like the Dysons of nowadays do so when Mr Dyson said that his trigger was the best invention ever he was a lying little sod because the Hoover were doing it way before him and here we have the dust box which is quite clean very very scratched it's been heavily used this but this will be very old I have a brochure for one of these actually I'll see if I can remember to stick it up at some point in this video and obviously if you follow my Basiac many years ago he did a fake advert for one of these a Hoover double duty this is the filter assembly I think this has something to do with the wet and dryness of it the filter itself is actually pretty disgusting and could do with a wash. It smells a bit iffy as well, but you know, it's not too bad. Does the job. That would go some way to helping the airflow out though. That's about it really. I know these were everywhere in the early 90s. My aunt had one on her garage wall for decades. Probably didn't use it. I don't think it was ever charged up and plugged in. But they were certainly quite popular back in the day. What else have we got? Well, luckily we have the charger, which I'll show you the mounting plate first, which is quite broken, but that should glue up quite nice. It's been fixed with masking tape, but that 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 should clean up okay. Nothing a bit of cube on won't fix. And then we actually have the charger itself, which is oddly enough is branded Hoover. So, unlike today, where you just get any old rubbish Chinese power pack included in your cheap vacuum cleaner. Oh, wow, look, I can even pull the tape off for you live on film. So, there we go, that's very tidy now. So, yeah, unlike today, where you get an unbranded crappy power supply, you've got a Hoover crappy branded power supply made in Taiwan. For use with Hoover 300 series cleaners, and you can just plug it in like so. I don't think you can run it from it. I'd imagine you still run the battery down. Or, and this is how it came to me: you push the plug into there and feed it through. And then, obviously, if that was on the wall, you would put the vacuum like that in two. It's probably how I'll keep it for now just to store it until I get round to doing something with it. But I thought it was worth a laugh for tenor. Bit of Hoover history. Don't see many of these. Oh, it's slowing down a little bit. I don't think we're going to get much chance of a demo. Let me see if I can just quickly put some light dirt down. We won't do any water with it today because I can't be bothered with it to get wet. But we will do one day soon. So let's quickly lob some pieces of paper down maybe and check if this will pick it up. There we go. So I've made the smallest of messes because this isn't going to be very powerful. Uh, 
<laughs> I think I, oh, I, I clogged it with newspaper. That's possibly my fault. I think I sucked too much up in one go. Yeah, not even. Come on. I think that's that, that's dead. I think. I don't think the bash. I think I probably should have charged it up before this demo, but I wanted it to see you. I wanted to show you it as it was. Yeah, but it runs. So by the time we do the after, I shall make sure it's been fully charged, and then we can use it properly. Maybe get some water out and see how it works. So there we go. The Hoover Double Duty wet and dry 300 for our viewing pleasure i shall put that on there i might stick it on charge now i might let mum use it for a bit see how it runs obviously the cable then runs through that little gap there so when it's up on the wall you don't bink the cable ah oh, this there we go so thank you for, for i wonder how long it take for it to die There's a little bit of psychotic action going on. And it all just goes straight onto the filter. I think. Oh, you don't have to your finger off very far, do you? Maybe it is fully charged. Maybe that's all it's got to give. I'd imagine the disgusting filter is probably impeding quite a lot of airflow as well. Mm. Oh, it's nasty. Let me pause for a second and come back when it dies. It hasn't died yet. And my finger now hurts, so we will leave this here. There's nothing else I can do with it for now. We'll get it clean, tidy, wash the filter and see what it can actually do. Maybe even see if we can replicate some of the photos from the brochure. So, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.